the whole universe there is only one place that has life earth and eco world is the project which makes the earth a sustainable planet all of us know the process of photosynthesis it is carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight to give glucose and oxygen seems obvious but then what is the origin of the problem so these days we are going by cars which is emitting pollution and we have various many other problems like ozone layer depletion deforestation water scarcity biodiversity loss and many more that i'm not naming here so then what is the solution for all of these so the solution is eco world a sustainable planet so in the introduction part we have that climate change has become a major concern for the sustenance of life on planet earth greenhouse gases are trapping heat in the atmosphere and are causing global climate change in the overwhelming and the non eco friendly world today high emissions of greenhouse gases including carbon dioxide are leading to global warming and the melting of ice glaciers and several disastrous events are followed so here carbon footprint is the amount of greenhouse gases emitted by a person family building or a company each year and it helps us to understand how humans and our actions can affect climate change and is also this project is useful in in evaluating the individuals impact on the world thus i believe that carbon dioxide becomes highly valuable in forecasting climate change so examples of greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide no2 so2 no3 so3 nh3 etc so what is the effect of this on oceans so oceans as you know cover up to 3/4 of the earth's surface and are home to hundreds of aquatic life but due to our recent changes in climate and global warming and our daily life the aquatic ecosystem is also being disturbed which is not good the side effects of climate change and the global warming on this ecosystem are endangering of the coral species and aquatic life plastics secrete oils which are harmful to the aquatic life and also the water and that water is which again we drink and also there is ocean acidification because of this carbon dioxide which is being diffused into the water which then increases the temperature and also carbon dioxide becomes carbonic acid therefore the ph of the ocean reduces and because of that there is also reduction in the amount of sulfur flowing out of the ocean into the atmosphere so this reduces the reflection of solar energy back into space which results in even more cycle so this is like a cycle this completes the cycle so next what is the solution that we can provide for aquatic ecosystems so ocean warming is a process for looking at underwater farming as the way forward so the problem on land presently is because the population is increasing and on land the area is also reducing which is on agriculture so we have more potential on water to grow so we can grow crops under water few photosynthetic plants which do not require human uh, observation so one type of plant is seaweed so what it does it it uh, takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen just as a normal land plant would do then whatever it grows very rapidly within 2 to 3 weeks and that could be grounded into manure which can be used for growing plants in the nemo garden so the water idea uh, it is a device which uses the heat of the sun to boil water giving the desired result distilled water but as you know distilled water when taken in excess amounts uh, gives rise to various diseases but taken in a little amount can help clean the body and remove uh, hundreds of germs in our body so when we take this nemo's garden it is like a fish bowl kind of thing under water so whatever seaweed we have grown and we are going to mix that in this water so it's going to become mineral water there and next what we are going to do is we are going to only use half of the distilled water and the remaining distilled water we can do a reverse osmosis so that it becomes drinking water next when this uh, water is mixed with the seaweed it can be used as a manure so that we can grow crops under water such as carrot radish and strawberry and next whatever the rest uh, rest of the water distilled water i told we can use it for r we can do ro and we can use it as drinking water it can be used for satisfying water requirements of humans because we know that there is only 1% of uh, water resources that humans can use remaining all is 99% is uh, not fresh water and uh, has salt which humans cannot consume 
So next we have the global warming. So the solution for global warming is the Eco Oreo robot. Just a small uh, disclaimer here, Oreo is a trademark of the company and remains henceforth. The Oreo is named is used for referring to the Android Oreo mascot here. So the global warming can be dealt with the Eco Oreo robot which is a robot that is used built on the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino platforms. It is paired with the TensorFlow platform which provides machine learning tools to make a model which generates a cutoff value for the carbon dioxide concentration in the air provided by the MK30 and the MQ135 sensors. So as I told in the robot here, it gets the, con the carbon dioxide concentration as, as we have seen. It's 1.3, 1.5 and it keeps on fluctuating. So I get the concentration from many instances or from many robots we which we can place in the place. So this is the Arduino. This is going to get the sensor data. Once it gets the sensor data from various instances, all of them are going to power the Arduino, sorry, the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi is going to communicate with the TensorFlow model, which is stored in the Google Cloud and using Firebase. So once I get this data, the TensorFlow model is going to check what is the required carbon dioxide level and then it's going to be providing that to the air. If the, if the value is high, it's going to, if the value is less or high, it's going to send the data back to the Raspberry Pi, which is going to be sending it to the Arduino, which is going to decide whether to on the air pump or not. So if the value is high, it's going to pump, it's going to power the air pump or else it's not going to do that. So if it pumps the air pump, it's the air pump is going to pump air into a water container as I showed and that on leaving it for some time it's going to produce the respective acid like carbon dioxide is going to turn into carbonic acid nitric oxide is going to become nitrous uh, acid and etc 9032 nh 3 and nh 32 its respective acid sulfur dioxide into sulfuric uh, sulfurous acid sulfur trioxide into sulfuric acid so then all that we're going to mix it with calcium hydroxide which is a very cheap base i will build outside which is also our uh, whitewash once after mixing these acids with the base, they're going to form salts and water. Water, it could be used for growing plants or etc. for other needs. And this whatever the products we have obtained there such as carb uh, calcium carbonate which is chalk powder, calcium sulphate which is uh, gypsum which can be used for uh, in hospitals for treating fractures and wounds and also calcium nitrate which is a fertilizer and various other salts which can be used commercially. So that is about the Oreo robot. Next we have my app which is called EcoFun. It's an app for measuring the carbon footprint and it helps us in uh, help aiding the environment to increase the oxygen level and to reduce the carbon dioxide level. So here uh, EcoFun can be used to calculate carbon footprint which helps in climate change with high accuracy and sensitivity. We can modernize this data to be CO2 points depicting the harm we are giving nature. So whenever the user is walking, running or cycling and uh, going by, so we award the user with green points which depict the good deeds for the user done to the environment. Also when uh, the user uh, plants a tree and takes a photo of himself uh, planting the tree or, good or does good to the environment, the user is awarded with green points. Also the machine learning tool has helped verify the images for the authenticity and thus rewarding green points for it too when the user is uh, growing plants or doing anything good to the environment then the user can compete with his friends and family thus concluding with a happy and eco-friendly world to live so as i said about climate change and global warming that's the stuff so this is the eco fun screenshot as i showed you in the app we also have dark mode which aids in our eye and doesn't put too much strain and uses less battery power and also for people who like everything dark and dark mode it's quite suitable for them. So the app comes in dark mode and light mode. Next, the Earth activity. So after the successful login or sign up, the user will be redirected to the Earth activity. It's a 3D Earth in which the user can see the levels and the countries which are unlocked. On clicking of the rocket which is available here, we can go to the game activity. It also has buttons such as the setting button, the share button, the dashboard button, and the info button. It also has the controls for the eCorio robot here. And it also shows the values which are obtained from the eCorio robot. And we also have the some info activity which shows some info about the app and the developer. So uh, that's it. 
and next the origin of the problem like now there are few apps which does the same but the, they use uh, normal sensors such as GPS and accelerometer for the collection of data and the machine learning for data interpretation this technology is trained by the fast Fourier transform FFT coefficients of the total acceleration measured for the detection of the vehicle mode so this takes time and it also is not so accurate and it also requires high phone requirements for the sensors and the machine learning data in built uh, machine learning processing so this uh, GPS data from the maps along with the vehicle mode calculates the carbon footprint this technology calculates the carbon footprint based on the displacement like as we said it's going to take a starting position and an ending position suppose you uh, went from uh, suppose say my house to see Amar Central then it's going to just take this first as a dot and the second as a dot that is my house as a dot and the CMA central as a dot and it's just going to draw a straight line from both and it's going to see how much distance is it but usually no place is in a straight line we have to take some left turns, right turns, we increase the speed of the car and etc so that is not going to give the distance traveled and therefore it's not going to give the carbon footprint based on the distance in addition as I told this technology is time consuming and expensive due to its sophisticated sensors and the inbuilt machine learning that is going on so here the objective was to design and develop an app for the measurement of carbon footprint based on the user's travel distance on cross-platform that is on iOS and Android so this is the settings page which I updated and uh, so next let us go to the method which I've used here the technology uses the latest Google Activity Recognition Transition API for the first time to determine the carbon footprint of the user which includes a detected acti and activity API so what this is going to do is uh, it's going to take in the location point which uh, most of the loc uh, location apps use such as maps and all that and it's going to give pass on that location to the Google's activity recognition API so that is going to tell which mode of transition you have used have you gone by vehicle or have you gone by walk or run or bicycle this has high efficiency and also this app is programmed using the Swift and Java in Xcode version 9 and in the latest code I have used Xcode 11 beta and also I have used Android Studio version 3.6 preview 5 here the app receives data from the GPS and returns the vehicle kind as I said just now using the above given APIs so and the confidence value like it, it uh, the confidence value here means how much is the accuracy or how much accurate does the phone think that you have performed the activity so here I take the activity only if it gives me a confidence of about 60 percent so if the confidence value is about 60 percent it confirms that you have performed such activity and then it saves that to the server next we have a timer which runs every second and it calculates the distance from the kinematics formula distance is equal to speed into time I know that you must have been thinking that we have some acceleration but here I feel that the units of acceleration is meter per second square so the maximum speed can change every second but since this timer runs every second it's not going to matter much and the accuracy is about 98 percent so I calculated from distance equals to speed in time let us say that in one second it travel 40 meter per second in the car so it's going to give a total of 40 meters you have travel 40 meters in a second so next the carbon footprint for the user is calculated by multiplying the CO2 emission value for the specific vehicle type which is the mean value given by the survey of the United Nations so the United Nations takes a survey every year and it provides a specific vehicle type and the CO2 emission suppose uh, take a car then the car produces around 288 grams for every kilometer that you travel a modern car if you take an S uh, SUV it's going to be more higher it's going to be around 400 to 500 grams per every kilometer so this is going to give almost an accurate answer uh, it going to be, it's going to be plus minus 10 that much accuracy it's going to give next the finally the carbon footprint of the user is saved for the particular activity and the total is going to be calculated and it's going to be saved in the Bitnami Power Server supported by the Amazon Web Services so this is a uh, basic screenshot of my application as you can see here I just showed you how it's going to work so suppose the user was in a vehicle so this is a screenshot of me going from my house to Simhachalam as you can see it has drawn a line and it's showing that it's in vehicle but uh, during the taking of the screenshot I still hadn't implemented the distance formula so it's going to show that as well later when I tested it later when going from here to my school it showed 99% uh, accuracy and that's great 
so then uh, according if the user has gone by a eco friendly method then it's going to show some green points or this is going to take it as CO2 points so results which I obtained as I told the result of the activity being performed the API along with the vehicle can returns the confidence value which indicates the accuracy of the occurrence of the activity this value depends on the smartphone's GPS sensors I've used uh, a Redmi Note 4 for this purpose and I've got a value of about 99% on the Redmi Note 4 and on the MIA2 I've got around 99.5 such the app considers the activity to be done only if the confidence value is more than 60% on beta testing the application over 50 observations from various devices were obtained like I got it from Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and uh, Poco F1 and uh, Redmi Note 5, Redmi Note 6 and Redmi Note 4G so the confidence value of the statistical data ranged between 80 to 100 percent therefore indicating the accuracy of this method for the calculation of the carbon footprint and of the app so we'll have an app demo now my app here so we'll open the app first so this is the login page of the app you can either log in with username and password or you can even create an account or you can also sign in or log in with the available methods such as Google Facebook and Instagram and also you can also have an option of signing with tech safari so that you can log in easily with any of my apps in the future password here So now I've uh, entered my username and password and clicked on tick. So now it should log in me in because I already have an account. And now this is the Earth activity. You can see what levels you have unlocked and what levels you have not still. And also you can see which character to be uh, rescued and all that stuff. So presently I'm in India, so it's going to show me India. So in India there is blue to be rescued. In China there is lion to be rescued. And I can even move the map using simple navigation gestures. So we have America. We have South America, we have Africa, India, like Asia, Australia, Antarctica, and also Europe. We also have various ocean levels coming up. And now let's go to the settings page. So in the settings page, you can uh, deal with profile related settings and also associating your account with various social media networks. You can also share your score easily with your friends and family using the share button. Like this, you can say copy to clipboard. Or I can share it using WhatsApp. Share, send it to friend. So here I get, I have 500 green points and 10 CO2 points. I'm in level Asia trying to save Lion. You can also compete with me on EcoFun and it gives the app link. So now let's go back to the app. Now let's go to the dashboard. So the dashboard is where you can get all your points and stuff. Here, this is my Ike profile picture. I have 500 green points, zero enemies, zero bananas. I haven't started playing the game yet. So this is the leaderboard. This is where you can get how many, who has how many points, and you can compete with your friends and family. Here I have the top with 500. Following is Nine Mama with 450 points, and my friend with 250 points. Now. I also put the robot controls for now which you see in the app you can control the robot using these features and you, later in the future you would also be able to see how much uh, CO2 level is there and how much oxygen are you producing using this app it's going to be a label there next let's uh, go to the info activity so this is just some information about the developer and about the app some basic stuff that you can read so let's go you can even tap tech safari to go to my youtube channel you can subscribe that and to get latest updates click on the notification bell and see various videos related stuff so now let's go to the game by clicking on this rocket button then we're going to go into earth So do I want to start game? Yes. So once the game is done, this uh, the robot is going to start moving and there are going to be enemies and various bananas that's going to come. 
you have to skip away from the enemies and also collect as many as bananas as possible the bananas are going to come if you when this green points increase the number of bananas in the game are going to increase and you're going to collect all of them so in this level here i'm going to have 20 bananas to collect with five villains so now let's stop the game and let's track activity so suppose presently now i am still so the map hasn't updated to my present location but if i was walking or if i was going by any vehicle then it would show me the vehicle or if i was running or if i was still sorry if i was walking or if i was going by bicycle and many other transportation modes to come and it's also going to show me the distance how much i've traveled and it's also going to show me how much co2 i've released at the top here so that's the basic of the application Therefore, this app can be used to calculate carbon footprint, which helps to explore climate change with high accuracy and sensitivity. Hope you like my project. Please click on the like button if you like the project. Please give your comments in the comments box below. And please for don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.